Hi there, today we're going to practice the basic associative property. So that sounds like a really big scary word, basic associative property, but really it means how two numbers can be added and what order they can be added. Now in addition, and this only applies to addition, it doesn't matter which order that you put your numbers. You can still add them up. So for instance, if I have a number 2 and I want to add 4 to it, I can do the same thing. I can reverse those numbers. I can change them and put 4 first and add 2 to it, and I'm going to get the same number. Here we have two apples. And then if we add in our four more apples, how much do we have here? We have two, three, four, five, six. We have six apples. Now, if I switch the order around and I put the two last and bring my four to the front here, so we have four first and we have two that we add on. Did it change anything? No, we still have the four and the two, or the two and the four. We still get the same amount of six. Four plus two is six, and two plus four is six. It's the same amount. It doesn't matter. And that's truly what the basic associative property means. No matter which way they are in order, it still comes up with the same answer. Let's prove this by looking at the number line. All right, so here we have a number line from 0 to 12. And if I asked you what 3 plus 5 is, well, we could start, write our 3, and count on 5 more. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And we land at 8. And our answer is 8. Now, if I were to switch the numbers around and make it 5 plus 3, let's see if we find the same thing. We've switched them around completely. Let's try it. So we're at 5 this time. Let's hop from there. 1, 2, 3. Do we still land on 8? In fact, we do. So with the associative property, each way that you put the order, it doesn't matter what order you have it. It will always come to the same answer. And that's the great thing about the associative property. Okay, let's try one more. If I gave you the number 3 plus 7, we know that 3 plus 7 equals 10. Using the basic associative property, what can you also prove? That's right, that if 3 plus 7 equals 10, that 7 plus 3 must also equal 10. Nice job. So remember, it doesn't matter when you're adding which order you have the numbers. You can make it 3 plus 7 equals 10. You can make it 7 plus 3. Whenever you're adding, it doesn't matter the order you'll always get the same answer. Great job. Thank you for learning about the basic associative property. Remember, the order does not matter when you're adding. You've done a great job. I can't wait to talk to you more about math.